It's the same one as this camera right here. But they're both pretty different in functionality. Like this one, for instance, has this, that's about screen, and this here. But this one here does not have a flip out screen, just this. But I do find it very interesting on how it actually folds forward. I don't think I've seen one do that before. And an interesting thing about the eyepiece here is you can actually slide it off. It's a little latch, there you go. Slide it off. Now I don't see the purpose in this besides, you know, maybe like different attachment maybe or what. Now here it does have little you know eye adjustment here. Now this one, you can also take this off, which I'm guessing do like a different, you know, lens on it or what. Now I'm going to leave it off for the rest of this video here to see it a little better. This one also has like a little, it's kind of like the hot shoe mount you'll see on cameras nowadays, I'm guessing. But this one's just for the light. Now with this one still has the normal tripod mount. And from as far as I can see, same battery, like I guess like pin layout as this camera here. I'll show you very quick. Now with this one, uh has a little top one, but this is not, I believe it's not the, uh, you know, OEM part. So it could be used for, in different cameras. This one, yeah. A little different way of attaching. About the same height, I would say. Maybe, maybe a little shorter on this one. Look. Now this, I believe, is to um, tell you, like, you can flip it if, you know, the battery's charged, you'll kind of flip it to, like, this, you know, good for recording, or not. That's actually pretty useful, really. I know a lot of, um, these are older Sony batteries, I know, has, has this feature, too. Now with this, I, I think it's a pretty bad design you know, just a bad design in general. See this little, that's the actual little charging port. Here, so you can't charge it with the battery being in there. Because, you know, block, blocks it. And you have to, like, buy, like, a separate battery charger. And, and uh, some people might consider it to be, you know, a pro, but, again, I just find it to be a pretty bad design there. But it does take the same size barrel jack as the other camera here. Other camera. Now we'll show you this turning on. I think another use for uh, taking off the little thing is could possibly be just plain for a way of seeing it, maybe. Um, one thing I've noticed, though, if you do it like this, it will not flip it the other way around. Like, it will just keep it, like, upside down, or... Let me see if I can zoom in. Kind of hard to focus it. <laughs> Let's 
See the light flickering? It does not actually show that, it's just the camera, you know, here is taking it in. Alright. Now this has uh, two modes right here, VCR, which you can watch your videos, you know, onto your TV if you want, with this. Normal video and mono auto, uh, audio. Now with the little one there, not quite, RFDC out. That's what it says on the inside. There you go. Interesting thing also here is the record, um, like button blocking. We do that or you know, unlock it so now you can push it. But like this, no, it can't. Like even when we push down on it, it physically does not move. But then that does move. So, very interesting camera in general. Now I'll show you this here. A lot faster ejecting the tape than this camera. See all the internals there. See the little head moving. Now this I find is very neat. Never seen this on a camera before. Here is the little remote for it. Now I thinking I'm thinking the battery is dead in the remote because I've not gotten the camera to actually work with it quite yet. So I'm gonna replace the battery soon. See if that works. But, um, you put it in this way here, and also this way, so it's not like you have to put it in a specific way. I prefer this way here. Just because, you know, when you're recording something, you can easily. There you go. Now, also, another interesting thing about the, uh,. Interesting thing about the folk, um, zoom on it here is when you push it lightly, that it slowly zooms in. But when you push it harder, it actually goes faster, which is called a variable speed zoom. And I think it's a good idea. Um, I don't know if cameras nowadays do that, or at least not as much, or, you know all that, but I think it's actually a good idea for this. And that's a pretty spongy feeling when you do this too. All right, this is me showing the variable zoom on the camera. So you move slowly there, but when I push, when I push lightly, but when I push harder, it actually goes faster. It's a very neat and good design, really. very useful.